Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day. You know, it's just wonderful to walk outside and look toward the sky and to see a blue sky. Beautiful blue. And uh, God has really blessed us lately with some good weather. Uh, we're still praying for those who were affected by these hurricanes and praying that God will bless them. And um, we know great, um, a lot of people are giving to help them and God will richly bless you today for your giving. Let me ask you a question. You ever sit down one time and maybe just thought about how big God is? You look around us and, you know, we're told at an early age, God created everything that we see around us, the earth, the sky, the star, the moon. He created all that. And then he took the time to create you and I. What an awesome, big God we serve. But I want you to listen to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12, kind of tells us a little bit about God. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hands and melted no, and meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Think about that today. He's measured the waters in the hollow of his hand. He's meted out heaven with the span. And I think they talk about the span as being like from this thumb to the end of your little finger and com com comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scale and the hills in a balance. When somebody, if I was to say to you, God is, what would you say to finish that sentence? God is. You know, today he's a person. He's a person. He's not an it. He's a person with names. Yahweh, Elohim, uh, Lord. Uh, in him... He's never an it. God is a person. God is a never, he never changes. God stays the same all the time. His ears ever listening to our prayers and any need we have, he is able to meet it should that be his will. His love for you and I remains constant since regardless of what we may do. You can never do anything to make God stop loving you. He won't approve of everything we do but he'll never stop loving you. You can count on God. Is a, he's a promise keeper. He promises something. He keeps that promise. And you read throughout the Bible, there are many, many promises that are given to the children of God. I love this. God is eternal. God is eternal. And he has prepared a place that one day we can go spend eternity with him if we will just accept him as our Lord and Savior and become a member of the family of God. He has no beginning. He has no end. That was kind of hard for most children to understand. I was. I used to question my mom all the time. What do you mean God's always been here? He had to begin somewhere. No, he's always been here. And that's that's just some things about God we'll never, we can't comprehend in our little brain. And I like this. He is always the same. Ain't that, that's so good. I mean, we have friends I know that one day they're up, next day they're down. One day they're happy, next day they're sad. One day they're all over the place, but God is the same. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He never changes. And I like this. I wrote this down as I was studying and writing some of these adjectives down to describe God. I just put, he simply is. He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's my provider. He's my defender. Jesus is my advocate with the Father. So folks, you can sit down today and just begin to name adjective after adjective after adjective to describe your God and still no human word can fully describe him the way it needs to. But when you look at this verse in chapter 40 of Isaiah, verse 12, it gives you an awesome idea of how big our God is. What an awesome God we serve today. I praise him. I thank him for his goodness and mercy. And I pray you do the same. Because he has blessed you. If he's blessed you like he's blessed me, you've got a lot to be thankful for and a lot to praise him for. I pray today God will bless you richly. Lord, thank you for all you do for us. Thank you for being the God that you are. Thank you for meeting our needs and knowing we can always count on you to be there for us in the time of need. Be with us today, Lord, I pray as we go about this day. Bless us, keep us, watch over us, and help us to share you with somebody that we come in contact with. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, may God richly bless you today, that big, awesome God that we serve. In Jesus' name.